Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it's time for Friday Frolics. And I guess you could tell by my videos I've done so far this week that I have had an awesome week. Um, of course, the whole idea around convention is to get people motivated and excited, and I am. This company never ceases to amaze me. Fun Stamper's Journey and Richard. Richard is... He's, he's just so human. I don't know what, you know, he's, well, you know, what we would call down to earth. You would think that someone that created a company like Fun Stamper's Journey would be a little bit um, either conceited or, um, you know, snobby or whatever, but he is so approachable. I can't tell you how many times I had my picture taken with him. Because he would be walking down the hall and would stop and say, want to do a selfie? And so we would do a selfie. You know, it was, he's just great. And uh, just an example, one of the coaches posted on our coach Facebook page that TSA had opened her, uh, one of her bags that had her products and stuff in it. And something spilled onto her catalog and when she got home about the first 15 or 20 pages of her catalog were stuck together and she was just devastated so what did Richard I mean Richard looks at our post on our coach connection he he looks at he he's responded to several of mine the first time I went oh Richard responded but uh, he responded to her that he was going to send her another catalog because ours are spiral bound, the ones you get at convention. The regular catalogs are not, but he does this just for the coaches that attend convention. They're all spiral bound, and they're so nice because they can lay flat when you're looking for, you know, uh, trying to, you know, uh, work from a picture or something. And he's going to send her another catalog, you know, because he said, you've got to have your own catalog. And... So he's sending her another catalog, and it's, you know, it's just been crazy. But if I was not in love with this company before convention, I am definitely in love with this company now. Of course, I got to meet so many of the people that I talk to every week, or some only occasionally. Uh, we did a tour of the headquarters, which is their warehouse and office. And we got to sit in Richard's chair and, you know, just do all those silly things that you do on, at, you know, when you're away like that. And, um, but it was just really nice. And those people worked so hard to make sure that the coaches had a great experience. I mean, they were there. Some of them worked at Journey Station all day and then came there right from work they would leave work about an hour early and then they would come over to the hotel and then they would participate as helpers and they you know work at at convention so I know they're all exhausted so if any of you have placed orders and there seems to be an issue with them you know be nice to these guys the you know I I saw their method of shipping and I have not had any issues with getting the wrong items or something missing. If something was missing, it was because it was on back order. And there's usually a little card in there that says that, uh, you know, it's on back order. But um, the, th the gifts that they gave us were all wrapped and filled with glitter and sparkle and sequins and and confetti and wrapped in you know with ribbons and everything so I'm sure for weeks before convention they've all been really really busy and and pushing themselves to the limit I'm sure they were glad convention was over but it was so awesome there's just no other way to explain it and we got so many awesome um, products uh, I did a video showing the what things that they gave us and um, then we were, they had bundles that we could buy. But our new products, our Jelly Press, 8.5 by 11. We're the only place that you can buy an 8.5 by 11 Jelly Press. And they're awesome. They last a long time. They, uh, you know, you don't store them 
with their acetate covers. They said that was something that came off the manufacturing line, and the first thing you should do is take those off. So I did take mine off, but it was so clingy when I tried to put it back into the folder that I keep it in that uh, I ended up putting an acetate shade on, sheet on the back just so it would be easier to put it back in the container that it, sh that it came to me in. But um, I'm not even going to bother going into all the new products. We did make some cards, and I don't believe I showed these cards. And I believe... Let me see. This is this one. This is my favorite new stamp set, and it's Dandelions. And if you can see the white, we stamp, We did our background first, you know, this background. And then we stamped it with the blue dandelions. And then we stamped the white dandelion and some of the little, where are they? These little flying pieces, the little seeds that you, when you fl blow the fluff of a dandelion. We uh, emboss those with white embossing powder. And the sentiment says, make a wish. When you look at a field of dandelions, you can either see a hundred weeds or a thousand wishes. And I think back to when I was a kid and we used to make a wish when we would blow these dandelions. So that, I think, was very special. And then we did this card. And that's using our curls and swirls stamp. And this one, I haven't figured out whether it's a hot air balloon or a light bulb. <laughs> Could be either. But we colored that. We just brought two colors of our pencils with us so we didn't have to bring our whole pencil set. But we colored that with our colored pencils. And uh, we did the background with our new... Uh, the, let me see. Like I say, this is all backwards. We did the background here with um, our new liquid color. We, you know dab some on a clear block and then we spritzed it with water and then just laid our, our paper down in it. So that was fun. But I like that. And then this one is using our um, our new swirls. I forgot the name of the stamp set, but it's rose swirls or flower swirls, something like that. But I really like that, and we colored these with some of our inks. Uh, you know, he showed us a method of of doing that. Actually, what we did is we used our daubers, and on a white piece of paper, we did little circles with our daubers and our inks. And we used, we started in the center so it's darker, and it went lighter as we went out. Of course, mine ended up pretty being pretty much darker all the way around, but it is a little bit lighter on the edges. It's going to take a little practice. But that way you don't have a solid color. It's, it's you know, blended colors, which makes it a little bit more realistic. And, of course, our silver and our sparkle silk is on here. But we also use that same stamp as, a, as the focal and as the background. But look at this. We dragged our ink pad across our paper to make the background and then we stamped it with this stamp set but we stamped it on the background and I really like that and then we cut we did the others in white and just cut those out and put them on there you know on there and then the congratulations is on a piece of vellum and we've got our new vellum is going to be eight and a half by eleven sheets of plain vellum no more stripes and stars and circles and stuff on it because I like plain vellum. But those were the cards we made. We did a, uh, a swap. Well, there were a lot of swaps, but I only participated in one. And we're calling it the Itty Bitties. And it's the same thing as card candy, if you've seen that anywhere. But these are the ones that I made. And I had so many compliments on them. They said that it looked like something they would buy at a... Uh, store. So, well, there's my phone. Again, it's my sister, and she knows I do this video on Friday mornings. So, anyway, uh, I hope you were surprised with your video video tutorials, you know, from polymer, for polymer clay. 
I had some time one day and I thought, you know, if I could just do a quick tutorial, I could schedule it to post while I'm at convention. And then I ended up having time to do two quick ones. So that's how you got two of them last week because I was thinking about you. I know I talk Fun Stamper's Journey all the time. And I'm sorry about that. I know some of you get tired of hearing it. But um, I, I thought about you all week that, you know, so when I was, I was a little concerned about leaving you for a whole week and not being able to do tutorials. So I was glad I was able to squeeze those two in, even though I haven't done any this week. Uh, Monday, I was just a zombie catching up on my sleep. Um, and then I've just had errands, you know, there was clothes to wash and things to do, you know, to catch up on what didn't get done while I was gone. And uh, today I've got to go out to Sam's Club and get some things. So it's just been something every day, but I will get back into the routine. I'll try to get one done maybe over the weekend. And um, we'll go for Plus, I've got my Patreon video to do. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas. I'm not real sure exactly how I'll do it, but um, I mean, which one I'm going to do, not how, but which one I'm going to do. I, I've got a couple, but if I have time, I ought to do it, go ahead and film both of them, because that way I'd have next month's done, and I won't have to worry about it. But see, I've got that to do. Um, we have someone that's interested in Lola. They are moving this week, so after they get moved, they want to talk to me about her. And they already have a greyhound, and um, they're used to greyhound behavior. So, you know, I need to talk to them to find out, you know, make sure that they know exactly uh, her issues. And other right now, the only way we can describe it is she's like a bull in a china shop. She just, if the dogs are laying on their bed and she wants to get to something on the other side, she just plows right on over top of them. It, you know, uh, my boy dog, Fort Dix, he's just really tired of her. <laughs> he really liked her at first because she was the only one that would play with him, but now he's just really tired of her because she steps on him all the time. But, uh, and she's busy. She likes to have something to do. And, um... Most of the time she sleeps, but when she's not sleeping, she looks for things to play with. And sometimes it could be a bottle of water. Uh, my daughter's getting ready for a Sunday school picnic tomorrow, and she's bringing drinks. So she had drinks sitting in the corner of the living room last night. And there were the, the shorter bottles, The I guess they're maybe 10-ounce bottles. But there's six or eight of them in a pack. And she was dragging those across the floor last night because it was something different, something new she hadn't been told she couldn't touch. So we had, you know, to you know get her away from those. Uh, it's, she's just cute. She just needs somebody that has more time for her than I do. Uh, I'm so used to my dogs that just sit or lay down. They go out when they need to go out, and then they come in and lay down the rest of the time. And Lola doesn't do that. She's young, and she still has some energy. But hopefully this will work out, and Lola will find a permanent home. She's been with us two months now. And it's time that she goes somewhere permanently, because she's really making herself at home here. And it's going to be a tough transition. So... The longer she's here, the harder it's going to be. So we're hoping that this will work out. And let's see, what else? I I may do a D-stash. Um, I have pulled out all of my cards, not cards, all of my stamps that are being discontinued at the end of June. That are, They did not make it into the July catalog. And I... You know, when I first started, I was I would see something, and I'd see a project somebody did on video. i said, say, oh, I like that, so I'd order everything to do it. And then either I never did it, or I, it's on my to-do list. And now they're being retired, and I feel like if I'm going to try to build a business out of this, I need to uh, keep current product and show demos on things that people can buy if they like it. It'd be a shame for me to do something using a stamp set that everybody fell in love with, only to find out it's been discontinued, you can't buy it anymore. 
So I've got those, and I may do a G-Stash video on those. Um, oh, one more thing, and this is for anybody that might be interested either in joining the journey or getting the Amaze machine. If you need a die-cut machine, the Amaze machine is our smaller machine. It's right here. It's, it's a good size. It's got a solid bottom it doesn't fold up it's so it's very sturdy and up until now um it has been offered in a starter kit now the amaze machine itself is 139.95 or 139.99 99 i don't even remember but it's almost 140 dollars and it's always been available in a starter kit for $149.95, which is only $10 more than the machine, and you get three stamp pads, two stamp sets, a die uh, cutting set, um, adhesives, you get a pack of white paper, a pack of black paper, and a pack of a sampler paper. It's uh, 12 of our colors. You'll get two sheets of each. Um, you get the white liner tape. Uh, just, I mean, all kinds of things you get, and it's uh, $149.95, but that's going away after the end of this month. They've decided to, it seems like when the Amaze Machine had a sign-up special when it was $99 for the starter kit, which is when I joined because I needed the machine and I wanted, you know, $99 was a great price, but... Um, people stopped buying the Amaze machine and you know from the catalog and because they were buying it as a host as a starter kit but then they weren't doing anything with their business they a lot of them didn't even keep their discount they just got the starter kit and that was it they let it drop so they've decided to take the starter kit out of the uh, starter the Amaze machine out of the starter kit and what they are doing instead, they found a, that sweet point of, you know, prices people were willing to pay of $99. And now for the $99, they have the Star Starter Kit, which is everything that was in the Amaze Starter Kit, but it didn't have the Amaze Machine. So now there's a, nine, you know, it's for people that are more serious about joining the company and already have a machine or they can buy the machine get it as a half price item if they have a four hundred dollar order so uh, you know that's something new so if you want the amaze machine in a starter kit which whether you want to do it as a hobby or whether you want to build a business with fun stampers journey the hobbyist would still get their 20 percent discount or if you just want all the products for the 149, you know, let me know before the end of June because starting July 1, that's not going to be available. And what they're doing for July for a like a sign up bonus type thing is you will be get anybody that signs up as a coach in July will be getting double the stamp sets. So say you sign up as a platinum uh, with the platinum starter kit, you get three stamp sets or four stamp sets I, I think it's three stamp sets so instead of three you would get six instead of one ATS you would get two ATS's so um, you know it's that's the way it's going to work so your starter kits um, for the month of July if you sign up and get any starter kit the stamp sets are the number you get are doubled so that's our sign up special for July and other than that, I really can't think of anything else I need to tell you guys. Um, I think um, I've covered it all, either that or what I haven't shown you in a video that I've done this week. So this is going to be it for my Friday frolic, and I hope you come back and join me again. I, Like I said, I'm going to try to do some... Uh, polymer clay tutorials. I'm also going to try to do a tutorial in our gel press. I played with it a little bit yesterday and it is so much fun. I love it. 
And one thing I love about it is doing the mirror image. So if you are interested in how to do a mirror image with your stamps, let me know and I'll, I'll be able to show you that on the, uh, on the gel press. So everybody, have a great day, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.